there's too many of you crying. Back in the heyday of Motown, something juicy happened, and it stayed under wraps for years, adding to the intrigue surrounding one of music's biggest legends. Marvin Gaye, the Prince of Soul, left behind a treasure trove of unforgettable tunes and a life story as tangled as his music. But what really got people talking was the mystery surrounding the fatherhood of his son, Marvin Gaye III. Marvin Pence Gaye Jr., born on April 2, 1939, and tragically passing away on April 1, 1984, was a monumental figure in American music history. His contributions to Motown during the 1960s shaped the very essence of the genre, earning him the monikers Prince of Motown and Prince of Soul. Gay's impact on Motown's sound is undeniable, with hits like Ain't That Peculiar, How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You, and I Heard It Through the Grapevine, etching their place in music history. Collaborating with artists like Mary Wells, Kim Weston, Tammy Terrell, and Diana Ross, Gay's talent knew no bounds. As the 1970s rolled in, Gay broke away from Motown's traditional production constraints, unleashing masterpieces like What's Going On, 1971, and Let's Get It On, 1973. These albums not only showcased Gay's musical prowess, but also laid the groundwork for future R&B subgenres like Quiet Storm and Neo Soul. Gay's legacy reached its zenith with the release of Sexual Healing in 1982, earning him his first two Grammy Awards. Tragically, his life was cut short on the eve of his 45th birthday, when he was shot and unalived by his father after an argument at their Los Angeles home. Despite his untimely demise, Gay's influence endures, with numerous posthumous awards and honors celebrating his indelible mark on music. From the Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award to inductions into the Rhythm and Blues Music Hall of Fame, the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, Marvin Gaye's legacy remains as vibrant and influential as ever. For ages, there were whispers and gossip about who Marvin III really was, but concrete answers were hard to come by. Everyone knew him as the adopted son of Marvin Gaye and Anna Gordy, but the details of his birth were kept hush-hush. Then, modern science swooped in with DNA testing, revealing a family saga straight out of a Motown hit. This is the tale of a son's relentless search to unearth his true beginnings, a saga unveiling the intricate web of his family's history and a revelation poised to settle the age-old question. Who exactly is Marvin Gaye III's birth mother? With the DNA test results looming, we delve into the past, weaving together a narrative that delves deep into themes of identity, belonging, and the enduring legacy of a musical legend. Marvin Gaye III's lineage traces back to the iconic Marvin Gaye, his journey was a blend of unparalleled artistic genius and profound personal struggles. His voice became the anthem of a generation, yet his family story was fraught with discord and heartache. Marvin's union with Anna Gordy, the sister of Motown's founder, Barry Gordy, was not just a romantic partnership, but also a strategic alliance in the world of music. It was within this marriage that doubts regarding Marvin III's parentage initially surfaced. While the public narrative maintained that Marvin III was adopted by the couple, murmurs of a more intricate tale lingered in the background. Marvin Gaye's personal life mirrored the complexity of his influential music. His marriage to Anna Gordy began in 1963 after a three-year courtship. Their bond was multifaceted, blending personal and professional realms as Anna contributed to Marvin's songwriting. Yet their union was fraught with turmoil, marred by infidelity and frequent conflict. The recording sessions for Let's Get It On proved pivotal as Marvin found himself captivated by Janice Hunter, a 17-year-old at the time. This affair spelled the end of his marriage to Anna Gordy, culminating in divorce in 1977. Subsequently, Marvin tied the knot with Janice, who later became the mother of two of his children. 
Marvin Gaye's life epitomized a dichotomy of artistic triumphs and personal tribulations. His relationships with both Anna Gordy and Janice Hunter served as significant chapters in his intricate life narrative, each leaving an indelible mark on his storied legacy. Marvin Gaye and Jan Gaye's relationship was a wild ride through the highs and lows of love, laced with intense emotions, betrayals, and substance-fueled escapades. Despite the age gap, Jan was drawn into Marvin's world with lightning speed, immersing herself in the music scene's hedonistic culture of the 1970s. Their connection, amidst the haze of drugs and the allure of free love, was a fiery mix of passion and tumult. Their marriage, however, was far from a fairy tale. Marvin's deep-seated paranoia cast a shadow over their union, fueling suspicions and sparking countless arguments. Both Jan and Marvin sought solace outside their marriage, with Jan indulging in affairs with some of Marvin's musical peers. Their shared indulgence in drugs only exacerbated the situation, heightening paranoia and exacerbating Marvin's mental health struggles. Marvin Gaye's relationship with his young wife, Jan, reached a disturbing breaking point as their marriage deteriorated. Despite their significant age difference, their union was plagued by emotional abuse and violent outbursts. Marvin's criticisms of Jan's appearance, including remarks about her body, inflicted deep wounds on her self-esteem. Their arguments escalated to terrifying levels, with Marvin endangering their lives during a reckless episode behind the wheel. Marvin's pattern of abandoning Jan and their children on planned trips, only to later insist they join him, added to the instability of their relationship. Jan, feeling neglected and mistreated, sought solace elsewhere, including in the arms of Marvin's musical rivals. Marvin's jealousy spiraled out of control, leading to violent confrontations fueled by drugs and paranoia. In one harrowing incident, high on a dangerous mix of substances, Marvin threatened Jan's life with a knife, leaving her paralyzed with fear. Although Marvin's rage subsided before he could harm her physically, Jan realized she could no longer endure the toxic cycle of abuse. In a decisive moment, she gathered her courage and fled with their children, determined to break free from the destructive grip of their marriage. Ultimately, their story is one of love and chaos intertwined. Jan Gay's memoir, After the Dance, My Life with Marvin Gaye, pulls back the curtain on their tumultuous relationship, offering readers a raw and unfiltered glimpse into the complexities of their romance. Set against the backdrop of Marvin Gaye's iconic music career, it's a narrative that delves deep into the depths of passion, the destructive power of addiction, and the fragile balance between love and turmoil. Behind closed doors, the dynamics within the Gaye family were as elaborate as the melodies Marvin composed in the studio. His early years were scarred by the cruelty of his father, Marvin Gaye Sr., leaving an indelible mark that fueled Marvin's lifelong pursuit of affection and affirmation. This relentless quest for a sense of belonging would reverberate in his son's own journey towards uncovering the truth. As Marvin's fame skyrocketed, so did the strains and demands on his relationship with Anna Gordy. Their union faced numerous hurdles, sparking rumors about the real circumstances surrounding Marvin III's birth. The presence of Denise Gordy, Anna's niece, further complicated the already mysterious dynamics within the family. In the midst of musical brilliance and familial complexity, Marvin III embarked on his own journey. While the world mourned Marvin Gaye's tragic end, his life taken by the very hands that once cradled him. His legacy extended far beyond his musical creations. It became a labyrinthine puzzle, waiting to be deciphered over the passing years, casting a fresh perspective on the legend of Motown. The DNA test, a symbol of modern scientific advancement, emerged as the beacon illuminating the truth that had evaded Marvin III for so long. On an ordinary day, Marvin III received a parcel holding revelations that would reshape his perception of his family roots. 
Within the nondescript envelope lay answers to inquiries that had hung in the air, akin to the lingering echoes of his father's most soul-stirring tunes. The genetic evidence was unequivocal, offering undeniable proof of his ancestry. The veil over his unknown mother's identity was finally lifted, unveiling the woman who had bestowed upon him the gift of life. The weight of the moment has to bore down heavily on Marvin III's shoulders. This wasn't merely a scientific validation. It had to feet like finding his way home, a missing puzzle piece slotting into its rightful spot with the resonance of a chord struck on his father's piano. It was a melange of emotions, a bittersweet symphony blending joy, bewilderment, and the unavoidable ache of time lost. The scientific affirmation of his heritage transcended mere revelation. It marked a profound reckoning with his very sense of self. Each line on the page seemed to bear the burden of countless years steeped in uncertainty and yearning, reverberating with the haunting melodies of his father's music. I can only imagine. In the aftermath, Marvin III was engulfed by a tumultuous sea of emotions. The elation of unveiling the truth collided with a deep-seated sorrow for the time lost in ignorance of his authentic lineage. His mind would become a whirlwind of inquiries, akin to verses of an incomplete melody, each stanza yearning for closure and clarity. The unveiling of Denise Gordy's involvement in Marvin III's life is a tale imbued with the intricate layers of family dynamics, love, and selflessness. Denise Gordy, a young woman brimming with her own ambitions and talents, found herself at the intersection of her family's legacy and the unfolding drama of the Motown era. Hailing from the esteemed Gordy lineage, Denise wasn't just Barry Gordy's niece. She was a vital thread in a musical dynasty that shaped the very essence of a generation. At a tender age of 15, Denise's life took an unexpected turn when she found herself pregnant with Marvin III. The circumstances were anything but ordinary. Marvin Gaye, 26 years her senior and wedded to Denise's Aunt Anna, stood as the father. In a remarkable display of familial devotion and amidst the whirlwind of societal expectations, Denise made the courageous choice to carry the child to term a decision made all the more poignant as Anna struggled with infertility. The arrival of Marvin III on November 17, 1965, marked the genesis of a clandestine tale shrouded in secrecy for years to come. Shortly after his birth, Anna officially adopted him, and a carefully crafted family narrative emerged, shielding the truth from prying eyes. Denise's sacrificial act, and the collective decision to conceal the reality were emblematic of the era's values and the family's steadfast commitment to preserving a facade of normalcy in the public sphere. Amidst the challenges, Denise forged her own path beyond the shadows of this hidden truth. She embarked on a career in acting and singing, gracing screens and stages with her talent, thereby etching her legacy in the annals of entertainment. Her journey epitomized resilience and determination, a testament to her fortitude as a woman navigating the intricate web of life interwoven with the Gordy and Gay legacies. With Marvin III's real parentage finally out in the open, Denise Gordy's story hits home the sacrifices made in the shadows of stardom. It's a raw tale of a mother's love, a family's tight bond, and the guts it takes to face the truth no matter how tough it gets. Denise Gordy, after years of speculation and silence, has profound implications not only for Marvin III himself, but also for the Gordy and Gay families, and it has elicited a range of reactions from the public and those involved. Implications for Marvin Gay. Third, the discovery reshaped Marvin III's sense of identity, potentially altering his familial relationships and his place within the Gordy and Gay legacies. Given the circumstances of his conception and birth, there are complex legal and ethical questions that arise, particularly around the issues of consent and statutory laws at the time implications for the Gordy and Gay families. 
The situation brings to light the lengths to which families may go to protect their image and the well-being of their members. How the families navigate this revelation will be a part of the ongoing narrative of their history and legacy in the music industry. The circumstances of Marvin III's birth have sparked discussions about the societal norms of the past and the legal implications of such situations. Simultaneously, many have expressed sympathy for Marvin III and Denise Gordy, recognizing the emotional weight of the situation. The discovery is likely a deeply personal and possibly transformative experience for Marvin III, offering closure but also raising new questions about his past. The story is a poignant reminder of the complexities of family, fame, and the search for truth. It underscores the enduring impact of Marvin Gaye's legacy and the intricate web of relationships that defined one of music's most iconic families. As the dust settles after Marvin Gaye III's true parentage comes to light, we're left contemplating the roller coaster of emotions that unfolded. It's a story that traverses the full spectrum, from deep secrecy to profound discovery. Marvin III, once wrapped in the mystery of his lineage, now finds himself at a crossroads of past and present. The DNA test uncovering Denise Gordy as his biological mother not only brings clarity, but also sparks fresh questions about identity, family, and the legacies we carry. The public's response to Marvin III's journey speaks volumes. There's fascination intertwined with empathy. It's a reflection of our collective pursuit for self-understanding and the innate yearning for connection and belonging. In essence, Marvin Gaye III's narrative transcends mere gossip. It's a tale that strikes at the core of our humanity. It serves as a powerful reminder that while truth may be complex and sometimes painful, it's also profoundly liberating and essential to our very essence. Marvin, a deeply flawed, brilliant artist that he was, it would be a reasonable assessment that he fell victim to the world he was born and raised in. Marvin Gaye's relationship with his father, Marvin Gaye Sr., was marred by a history of abuse and conflict, casting a dark shadow over his upbringing. Marvin Sr., a stern and religious figure, imposed his strict moral code on the family with an iron fist, leaving Marvin Jr. to liken living with him to being under the rule of a merciless king. His mother, Alberta Cooper Gay, also recounted the hostility Marvin Sr. harbored towards his son, reflecting a deep-seated resentment that tainted their familial bonds. The abuse Marvin Jr. endured as a child, both psychological and physical, inflicted deep wounds that lingered long into adulthood. The tumultuous dynamic with his father reached a devastating climax on April 1, 1984, when Marvin Jr. intervened in a dispute between his parents, only to be fatally shot by his father in a tragic turn of events. Marvin Gaye's personal relationships were similarly complex, and fraught with turmoil. His marriage to Anna Gordy Gay, sister of Motown mogul Barry Gordy, was riddled with fighting and rumors of infidelity from both parties. The strain in their union peaked when Marvin embarked on an affair with Janice Hunter, a 17-year-old, during the recording of his iconic album, Let's Get It On. These facets of Marvin Gaye's life his traumatic upbringing and tumultuous marriages were intricately intertwined with his musical brilliance, lending an emotional depth to his work that resonates to this day. Despite grappling with personal demons, Marvin Gaye's legacy as a pioneering musician endures, his music serving as a timeless testament to the human experience.